back to another episode here on the channel. This week, we're finally diving into ethics and professional practice that you'll find here on the FE exams or just in general whenever you're going out and about with actually practicing engineering. So this kind of branch of engineering that you'll kind of learn is it, it's an easy concept but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's simple. A lot of ethic questions really rely on choosing the best answer and sometimes the questions can have a good answer but there is a better answer that could that is the actual answer. So you'll see what I'm talking about as we dive into more and more problems. Just make sure that you're pausing the video, trying to do it on your own, and then trying to follow along afterwards to see maybe where you went wrong or maybe you have a dispute and you can leave it down in the comments. So go ahead and pause right now, but for the rest of us, we're going to jump right in. So the question here is asking, as a professional engineer, you are in charge of the remediation of site contaminated by historical release. A nearby landowner approaches you asking how the release and subsequent cleanup efforts will impact the health and well-being of his land. What are you permitted to disclose to the landowner at this time? So the kind of answers that we have towards this particular question are down below. But just kind of dissecting what's being asked here. We, this kind of problem happens a lot when you're out and about. Mostly you have to be an advocate for your employer. You have to be an advocate for the people that you're serving. You have to be an advocate for the client that your employer is employing or being employed by. And so it's just one of these well-balancing acts that you have to kind of figure it out. And thankfully, there are a lot of step-by-step -step things you can do to kind of figure out those problems. And if you were ever to be in this situation, just make sure to pause and just figure out the answer with your mentor, either going online, so on and so forth. These are all hypothetical in nature. So by no means should you actively try to put these questions in real life applications. They're more of a guideline, if you will. So for number A, we have being a licensed engineer requires you to disclose any information to the concerned party. B, you may give the interested party any information that you deem applicable to the well of his property. C, you may give your professional opinion when you have enough information to do so. D, employer consent must be sought out before giving any information to the concerned party. So when we're looking at this, a big thing that we have to consider are what are the laws that we are in. So like what state are we in? What county are we in? So other than state law, court, police, etc., licensees shall not reveal facts, data, or other information obtained in a professional capacity without the prior consent of their client or employer. So it's just kind of one of those things where we have to protect the integrity of what we are trying to do. That's not to say that if there was an endangerment to the property that you shouldn't go to the proper authorities. But in general, we typically follow the answer of D as in dog. And so this right here is a good question answer to kind of follow. Again, there are a thousand things that can go wrong in any situation. And so you'll have to analyze it. And thankfully, you can take a step back and say, I, I really can't answer this right now, sir. Let me get back to you. And then you can talk to your employer, you can talk with your mentors, you can even reach out to your old college teachers and see what's right. You can even look up your laws in that county, state, or country that you're in. And it's just ethics has such a wide variety. And so you might think that C is a good option where you give your professional opinion based, you know, when you have enough information. But again, D is the best answer when it comes to protecting the client because that's what you were asked to do and you have to ask that permission. It's that integrity we're trying to uphold. Um, so forth and A and B, D still is just the best option and that really just kind of answers this particular question. So make sure you stick around and watch the next video. Hopefully you guys paused it, you guys had that video 
and you, uh, you pause that video and you were able to get the right answer. If not, and you didn't quite understand any of the explanation, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.